Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, it's about 2 in the morning and I'm tired as shit. But I did get this package in the mail today, so I figured I'd do a quick unboxing for you guys. So let's just get started. Using the Kershaw Zero Tolerance 350. I don't think I'd really have to use it, but where's the fun in that? There you go. Now I ordered both these knives on the same day because I have a thing where I can't buy a knife without buying a Spyderco unless I'm already buying a Spyderco. So let's just check it out. This is my first experience with one of these knives. The orange Spyderco Military. And initial impressions are badass. Hell yeah. That orange is just kicking, dude. That is bright as hell. Looking through the viewfinder here, uh, it's not the video is not doing this justice. But <clears throat> it is rocking the S30V steel, of course. Has a awesome Awesome feel in the hands here. Damn. It is a liner lock. Fine by me. I like liner locks pretty good. Uh, let's see. It's got a pretty good lanyard hole there. But it only has the one station, the one spot uh, pocket clip. So what is that? Right hand, tip down, carry. That's all you get. But with a knife this cool, you just deal with it. Damn, that is a nice knife. All right, well that is my little bit of an unboxing there for you. This is certainly gonna be in my top six when I do an entry for John Wayne Colt 45's contest. And that will be too. So that's my little unboxing, guys. Um, uh, let's see, I know. I don't know. Almost forgot. Damn it. <clears throat> Had the ruler for a reason. Looking at about a four inch blade. Overall length open, about nine and a half. And about five and a half, I guess that is, for closed length. Yeah, maybe just a tiny bit under. Okay guys, that's it for this video. That's my unboxing. Got a couple of great knives this week, so it's all good. I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. I am Infidel Strong, and I'm out.